what according to you are the new rules that the government has imposed to avoid the strain from spreading see basically the government from its own perspective first of all i'll say the rules are you know follow the covid appropriate behavior is and all but with regard to night curfews weekend curfews and all that which have been implemented and in some parts you know basically complete lockdown this time has not been done this is that because that is where we saw that you know which impacts the economy in a very big way and you see we can see the impact long lasting impact over a period of time on you know different industries whether we talk of healthcare industries whether we talk of electronic industry or you see i'll say the education industry it has got impacted in a big way and also people who are daily wages you know and we have got huge percentage of population which was pushed below poverty line many children dropping out of schools the young childhood marriages have increased you see which we were with great you know efforts our all efforts toward meeting sustainable development goals were pushed back you know people who were receiving treatment for tb routine immunizations and all all programs you know got impacted because you see the burden on the systems was very high but then this time you see what is very important is that we have become wiser over a period of 2 years that the routine activities must go on the systems should not be overwhelmed if they need not be be prepared with the systems be prepared with the excess bed capacity if you need to be prepared with the trained manpower be prepared with the complete knowledge and package of information so all these are key towards you know basically maintaining the uh, pandemic but life and livelihood has to go together that is the key message which is learned and also you see sometimes the governments do take decision that okay this is a huge uh, burden of disease but this is here is a virus which is a highly infectious virus right so this virus will transmit fast, uh, very fast if i am in contact with the person for about 15 to 20 minutes i am unmasked the other person is unmasked and maybe you know i get the infection so very soon but you see if to break that you know sometimes the government does take the decisions which are little harsher from the, from the person's perspective but you see it is also a need to sensitize our own population that you see the night curfew does not serve much purpose but the message behind the night curfew is okay there is something which is happening there is something which is you know not normal we have to be careful now you know so that's how you know human behavior is something which is the most hard to change particularly when it comes to complying with the uh, following the precautionary measures and at this point of time we know that you know we are handling the situation very well the government is very open and it's every day apprising people about the progress of the pandemic it is taking support from it is a multidisciplinary multi ministry approach with the government is following the briefing is being done every day even election commission this time you know said that we will not hold the um, rallies you know no large scale rallies will be there so that's how you know there's a change which is evident because ultimately we cannot you know play with the lives of people and india is very different remember delhi is different um, mumbai is different bihar is different madhya pradesh is different each one of us you know is very very different and we have to take everyone together then only we will be able to fight this disease.